We continue to preview the 2024 college football season. Our stop today is Defiance, Ohio, where we get to visit with Bill Nickel, who is the head coach of the Defiance Yellow Jackets. Coach, first season in the NAI since 1990, and the university athletic department making the move from Division Three to the NAI for the upcoming season. Tell us a little bit about that, uh, the move that was made, and, and what that means. Well, we're very excited to be joining the NAI um, Obviously, top-notch competition, but also joining the Mid-States Conference is one of the best in the country. You know, the conference has been around for 30 years. There's been 15 teams that have played for a national championship out of that conference. So uh, we're getting thrown right in the fire, and we're excited about the opportunity. Absolutely. I think that's that's the best way to put that. It, it's it's going to be an interesting schedule, which, by the way, we'll talk about here in just a little bit. With recruiting then, I know that, uh, I mean, obviously, you, you know the move that's being made. You know the direction that you're going. From Division Three to the NAI, the recruiting has to be a little bit different. Can you talk about the process a bit? Oh, 100%. Um, once you start having the ability to add scholarship players and being able to offer scholarships, that, that definitely plays a major factor into the recruiting process. So us, we're still evaluating the guys we want, guys that are going to be able to come in and make an immediate impact with us moving up a level but also being able to stretch our dollar a little bit too has been, has been interesting. You know, we're trying to be able to compete with programs that have had multiple years of developing these scholarship teams. We get one class, so we got to make sure that we're filling in holes um, that we, that we need to replace right now. So it's been inter interesting. It's been a lot of fun. Um, very happy with our recruiting class as well. So we, we have some, some dudes coming in. We're excited. I always like that when they, when when you start talking about dudes, then you know it, it means business at that point in time. <laughs> From last year's season to this year, let's talk a little offense. Tyshawn Freeman returns for the Yellow Jackets, and he returns a, a lot of offense. As a matter of fact, a lot of all-purpose yards, more than eleven hundred all-purpose yards. Tell us a little bit about your offense and what we might be seeing. So we're very multiple offensively. We're multiple in all all facets of our game plans, but um, offensively, especially, we try to find ways to get the ball to the guys that can go and make plays. And uh, Tyshawn, we affectionately call Moose is his nickname. He's a big guy, um, and he, he runs hard and he does a lot of really good things for us through the passing game, screen game, and obviously through our our inside run game as well. Um, you know, as I said, we're very multiple in what we do, but we love finding ways to be able to get him the football. And what makes us able to do that is honestly our offensive line. So we're built from the front first is what, with what we do. And we return two seniors up front, too, and Andre Almore and Eric Moultrie um, that have been training with us all summer, too. So we're excited to have those guys back. And honestly, we return all five starters up front, and we've added a group of guys that can come in and help us compete there, too. So the O-line makes it go, but Freeman is definitely special with the football in his hands. I, we always enjoy talking about the offensive line, especially during preview season here on Midwest Sports Net. Uh, Freeman, are there other uh, skill position players that uh, either were returning or, or uh, that have, are standing out for you? Yeah, 100 percent. Our wide receiver core has been revamped, too. Uh, we were able to bring in Caleb Johnson um, over the spring, and, and he had a phenomenal spring for us. Tuan Rome is an all-conference wide receiver that's back for us. Um, Jalen Warren as well, and uh, Dasmond Garrett is another guy. In addition to the dudes that we brought in um, in this signing class, those guys are proven athletes and do a good job for us. So we're excited to have them back as well. We're visiting now with Bill Nickel from Defiance College here on Midwest Sportsnet, and I encourage you, please take the time, subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that and think it helps a lot. We love talking about small college sports throughout the Midwest and beyond. Uh, Coach Thomas Coltrane, well, he graduated and took with him about 100 tackles even from last year, but he's not the only one that you have, uh, you know, on the team last year. Dominic Harris, uh, one of your defensive linemen, a junior last year. He's a leading returning tackler, 12 and a half tackles for loss, seven of those sacks. Tell us a little bit about your defense. Uh, very relentless is what we hang our hat on. You know, I think every, every team in the country probably has something up on their wall that talks about swarm to the football or relentless pursuit but it's something that we live every day. And if you're not going to be able to finish plays, you're not going to be able to play defense for us. So we really hang our hat on that aspect of it. Um, Coltrane's going to be tough to replace. I don't know if you can truly replace a man like Thomas, um, but we have guys that are going to be able to step in and fill that role for sure. Um, the man that started next to him at linebacker, Cody Johnson, will be coming back. He started as a freshman for us. Um, Braden Burkholtz also had a phenomenal spring and played quite a bit last year that will be playing linebacker for us. Um, so very excited about this defensive crew, um, especially inside in the, in the front group. 
Um, we're making some changes about what we do schematically as far as alignments are concerned. Um, but we do have some guys that can fly around and make plays. Um, you mentioned Dominic Harris at one end. We also have Richard Pope on the other end um, who will be coming back, who those guys excel at getting to the quarterback. Um, we brought in quite a few defensive tackles, too, to help those guys. And on the back end, Vashawn Palmer is coming back for his fifth year, um, and he was – two-time all-conference, played corner and safety for us. So we're excited to have him back, and he should be able to lead us from that back-end position as well. You know, it would be remiss to not talk about special teams of that. Zach, Zeke Sanchez coming back. He was your kicker last year, four for six field goal, and uh, pretty sure kicker for you. Yes, sir. Yep, Zeke, Zeke's back. Um, Zeke is interesting. A lot of people kind of overlook the, the specialist position, but we, we work the crap out of special teams every day. And Zeke's a leader for us uh, in the weight room, on the field, um, does a really great job for us. We're excited to have him back. Uh, we also return Matt Milanos, who was our punter last year, um, who did a good job for us. So both of our all-conference uh, specialists there will be back for us. So excited about that. I said I would talk about the schedule a little bit, and it's an interesting schedule. It, it kind of feels like a transition schedule from – you know, one area to another. You start the season Saturday, September 7th on the road at Concordia and then at St. Francis, that's a Midwest team, uh, now a Midwest team in Concordia, a Mideast team uh, in the Mid-States there uh, uh, on September 14th. But your schedule has three from the Midwest, three from the Mideast there in, in Mid-States, and then four teams from your former conference in the Heartland Collegiate Athletic Conference too. So, it, it again, it feels like a transition schedule. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's uh, We're lucky to be able to jump in with as many games as we have right now, especially with the late transition happening for NAIA. But we also, I mean, the, the HCAC teams we're playing are no slouches. You know, those we were in tough competitions with all those teams. Um, we got our work cut out for us this year, that's for sure. And one, I'll let you know, this hasn't been announced yet, but we'll also add, we're adding an 11th game versus Madonna. Um, so okay. no five weeks, we're going straight into it. So we got 11 straight. Um, again, being against the best best talent in NAIA and then also with some really tough HCAC teams. So we're going to work out for us. <laughs> well, I, I, listen, I appreciate that. I feel like we get to break some news here today. So that that's uh, news, at least since, since my research there. So 11 exactly. games late this year for the Yellow Jackets. Coach Bill Nickel, thank you so much for taking time with us today. Success to your team, to the Defiance. And we're going to follow you this season uh, throughout the year and look forward to seeing what the team does now. Uh, in the NAIA this year. Congratulations on being able to make that move, and thanks again for taking time. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thanks for the opportunity.